Wait, they can't kill that guy. Kind of jumpy, aren't we? Shut the f up. You shut the f up. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies where the protagonist dies. Just so there's no confusion, we're only focusing on the deaths of those characters who are central to the film's plots and are considered the main characters or were marketed as such. I'm tired, boss. Also, they have to be human, so sorry, old yeller, some other time. He was my dog. I'll do it. And while this might seem obvious, there are spoilers ahead, so spoiler alert. Number 10, Armageddon. Somebody dial 911! An asteroid is on its way to obliterate Earth, and a team of oil drillers headed up by Bruce Willis's Harry Stamper is tasked to blow it up with a nuclear bomb. The United States government just asked us to save the world. Anybody want to say no? Sounds dramatic enough, but it's the movie's finale that really tugs at the heartstrings. I love you so much, Daddy. I'm so proud of you. Harry stays behind to detonate the bomb manually, killing himself but saving the world and allowing his daughter's boyfriend to get home to her. Cue the Aerosmith and grab the tissues. Number 9, American Beauty. Lester, could you make me a little later, please? Because I'm not quite late enough. It's the story of a suburban man whose wife's cheating on him, who hates his job, and whose daughter hates him, who finally says to hell with it and decides to live life to the fullest. What the hell do you think you're doing? Uh oh, mom's mad. Lester Burnham starts smoking pot, working out in the nude and flirting with a teenager, all to feel alive again. But just as we start to connect with him, and just as he has an epiphany, Lester's journey abruptly comes to an end. Number eight, Psycho. We all go a little mad sometimes, haven't you? Yes. Sometimes, just one time can be enough. Inspiring many other film murders. <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho was marketed on the star power of Janet Leigh, who portrays the classic Hitchcock leading lady, only not for very long. Less than halfway through the film, Leigh's Marion Crane becomes the victim of one of the most famous murders in cinema history. Not because she stole money from her boss, just because she's in the wrong place at the wrong time. We still check behind the curtain for Norman Bates. Why, she wouldn't even harm a fly. Number seven, Scarface. Then when you get the money, you get the power. Then when you get the power, then you get the woman. Climbing to the top of the drug world with cutthroat antics and no-nonsense violence, Al Pacino is Tony Montana, also known as Scarface. I buried those cockroaches! However, getting tangled in the web of hard narcotics, lust, and betrayal takes its toll on this drug entrepreneur. After being barricaded in his mansion, Tony goes down in a hail of bullets, but manages to put up one hell of a fight first. Say hello to my little friend! Say hello to one of the most memorable scenes in cinema history. Seriously though, he gets his comeuppance. Number six, Titanic. Open your eyes. When young aristocrat Rose falls for charismatic artist Jack, we embark on an unlikely and doomed love story aboard the RMS Titanic. Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. However, danger strikes when the ship hits an iceberg and their story spirals into chaos. The ship is gonna suck us down. Take a deep breath when I say. After escaping the sinking ship, Jack and Rose find themselves floating in the freezing ocean. Promise me now, Rose. And never let go of that promise. I promise. When Jack can't hold on any longer, he sadly slips away. At least this Leo death is a little more delicate than his demise in The Departed. Number five, Gran Torino. Get off my lawn. 
Although he starts the film with great prejudice towards his Hmong neighbors, Korean war vet Walt Kowalski soon learns not to paint everyone with the same brush. I'm proud to say that you're my friend, but you've got your whole life ahead of you. But me, I finish things. Walt comes to care for his neighbor's family, and when they're attacked, he takes it personally, deciding to confront the local oppressors. Here's the deal. You stay away from Tao, understand? You would tell your friends to stay away from Tao. Standing tall with several guns aimed at him, Walt allows the gang to take his life so the people of his neighborhood can live in peace while the gang rots in prison for his murder. Number four, Thelma and Louise. You said you and me was gonna get out of town and for once just really let our hair down? Well, darling, look out, cause my hair is coming down. All right. Deciding to get away from their mediocre lives, Thelma and Louise hit the road for some fun. However, these ladies are forced to go on the run when a would-be rapist gets in their way. What did you say? I said suck my cock. The pair gets into many adventurous shenanigans along the way, and their story ends in dramatic fashion. <laughs> Chased down by the cops to the Grand Canyon, Thelma and Louise decide to keep going. Number three, Saving Private Ryan. Saving Private Ryan was the one decent thing we were able to pull out of this hole god-awful shitty mess. When a group of soldiers, led by Tom Hanks's Captain Miller, is sent to find one Private Ryan, they battle the odds to reach him. After locating this needle in a haystack, Miller and his men help defend a strategically important bridge. Our planes in the 82nd had taken out every bridge across the murderette with the exception of two, one at Valone and this one here. However, as a result of the mercy he showed a Nazi soldier earlier, Miller takes a bullet in the crossfire and bleeds out after the skirmish but not before offering Private Ryan some words of advice. Ernest. Ernest. Number two, Braveheart. What will you do without freedom? After almost everyone he loves is killed at the hands of the English, William Wallace sets out to free Scotland from oppression. <laughs> Wallace then becomes the much needed symbol and leader of his countrymen, as he drives them into battle against the British. Though he fights valiantly, Wallace is captured and publicly tortured for his treason, but is given the opportunity to beg for mercy. Just say it, oh, cry out, mercy. Instead of granting himself a quick death, Wallace uses his last breath to confirm what he believes in. Freedom! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. And so my king died. And my brothers died. It was enough adrenaline to do the job a few times over. We didn't want her going through this again. Gladiator. What we do in life? 
Echoes of eternity. When Roman general Maximus Decimus Meridius is betrayed and his family is slaughtered, he becomes a slave to the gladiatorial world of the Colosseum. Are you not entertained? With nothing left to lose, he fights for his humanity, and we follow as he becomes a symbol of freedom. The slave who became a gladiator. The gladiator who defied an emperor. Maximus does manage to exact his revenge in the arena and become the ultimate representation of liberty. Unfortunately, the cost is his life, as he eventually succumbs to a knife wound <coughs> inflicted by the villainous Commodus. He was a soldier of Rome. Honor him. Do you agree with our list? Which protagonist's death left you gobsmacked? For more hair-raising top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Gotta go now, honey. Daddy, no. No, no, Dad, no.